Alright guys, hi, this is Adam Koo, and in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can use the Think or Swim scanner to search for specific stock strategy setups. So let's begin. Alright, so let's recall in the Wealth Academy program, you've learned a couple of uh, optimal entry setups. So one of the main entry setups is entering the dip on the uptrend. So you want to ensure that um, the price is on a very clear uptrend, a short-term uptrend, a medium-term uptrend, where the 20 EMA is above the 40 EMA and the 50 moving average is above the 150 moving average. Now, you can use the simple moving averages for the 50 and 150. So happens in this chart, I'm using the exponential moving average, but you could use the simple as well. In fact, I tend to use uh, the simple more often, all right? And obviously, uh, we want to look for a time when the price happens to be bouncing off one of these moving averages, either bouncing off the 50 moving average or the 150 or the 200 moving average or even the 100 moving average. So um, one way is to go to Finvis and to use the normal screener and visually and manually look for stocks with these setups. Another approach is to use the Think or Swim scanner and you program in these specific setups you're looking for. So I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So the first thing you got to do is to you have to open a live account with Think or Swim. You can't use a demo account; it's going to be live, all right? You can't. It can, or it may or may not be funded, but it has to be the, the live account, okay? So what you do is you go to Scan over here, and you go to Stock Hacker, all right? And let me just clear everything so we can start all over again. Great. So um, it should be an empty um, plate or empty template, okay? So if I want to scan for the dip on the uptrend setup, there are a few things I want to do, okay? So first, I'm going to click on Add Study Filter. I'm going to click on Study. And I'm going to go to Custom. So I'm going to customize my filter, all right? Customize. And it should bring you to this page. Uh, and it gives you this ADX crossover that we do not want. So I'm going to delete that, delete that okay? Now I'm going to add in the conditions of the dip on the uptrend, okay? So what's the first condition? I want the 20 EMA to be above the 40 EMA, right? So it's a short-term uptrend. So I'm going to click on Add Condition and select a Study because moving averages are a study, okay? And select um, Exponential Moving Average Exponential, all right? Um, select 20 which is the 20 exponential moving average is greater than the, again, select study. Once again, select uh, exponential moving average, 40. Okay, so there we go. So we want the 20 to be above the 40 EMA, telling us it's a short-term uptrend, right? We only want to enter during a short-term uptrend. Click save. There we have got the first line, okay? Next, we want to ensure it's a medium-term uptrend as well. So the 50 above the 150 simple moving average. So add condition. Again, choose study. Uh, now I'm going to choose simple moving average. Uh, 50 simple moving average. Greater than in study moving average simple One fifty, okay. So fifty is above one fifty moving average. There we go. So these two conditions ensure it's on an uptrend. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to ensure that the price is kind of like bouncing off one of the moving averages. So in this case, let's look at the price near the fifty moving average, and you can always create one where it's near the one hundred and fifty and one near the two hundred. So let's start with the fifty moving average. So the first condition I'm going to add is I'm going to say okay. You know what, I, now let me bring you back to the slide so you see what I'm talking about, right? So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the time when the price is bouncing off the moving average, okay? So I could tell the scanner that, hey, I want a time when the price low, the low of the price is cutting the 50 moving average or the price is below the 50 moving average, but the body of the candle, which is the open and the close, is above the moving average, 
Okay, that's what I want to say. So, how do I translate that into the scanner? All right, so I'm going to choose the price low. Okay, that means the low of the candle is uh, below. Is less than okay, uh, the moving average. So study again. Choose simple moving average. And again, if you want it to be bouncing off the fifty, you choose fifty, right? If you want it to bounce off the one fifty, you choose one fifty, right? So you can create many versions. So in this case, we're gonna choose the fifty moving average. So I want the price, uh, the low of the candle, right, to be below the fifty moving average. Save. Okay, at the same time, I want the body to be above the moving average. Now, before that, let me just go back to edit again, and I'm going to put within two bars, which means within the last two candles, right? So it could have happened recently in the last two candles. Okay, next, I'm going to add condition, and this time I want the price uh, open, the opening of the price to be <clears throat> greater than the moving average. Again, study. and choose 50 within the last two candles, all right? So click Save. Next, I'm going to choose, um, again, price close is greater than the moving average, 50. within two candles. There we go, all right? So what, I've, what I'm saying is that I want the, the candle, the open and the close of the candle, remember it opens and closes above the moving average. In other words, the body is above the moving average, right? The body is above the moving average, but the uh, lower shadow or the lower tail is cutting below the moving average, telling us that it is near bouncing off the moving average. That's what it means, okay? So once you have got that, I'm gonna click OK and I have got that custom screener, okay? Now, I'm also gonna add a filter over here. I'm gonna click on this again, add study filter. And this time, uh, instead of choosing custom, which I did just now, I'm gonna choose volume. I want the average volume to be above 150,000 because I only wanna trade stocks with high volume, at least above 150,000, so that is one of the conditions as well. I also want to look for stocks that are above $2. So I'm going to click on Add Filter for Stock. Uh, stock last closing price, minimum $5. Oh, sorry, $2. Right? I mean, you can put 5 if you want to. It's up to you. All right? Okay, so once I have this, I will save it. Right. So I'm going to click on this widget over here, the widget. Save the scan as, that's right, dip on uptrend. Right. Dip on uptrend and click save, all right? I've already clicked save, so I'm not, not gonna do it again. If you've not done it, click save, and it's there. So the next time you wanna find it, click on the widget, load scan, personal, doom. Doom, 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 doom. there we go. So dip on the uptrend. So I'm gonna click on this, and it comes out again, all right? So I could scan if any stocks are uh, meeting that condition today. So I'm gonna click scan, all right? It may take a while, so I'm gonna fast forward, click scan, is now scanning the market for that setup, okay? All right, so the scan has uh, produced 252 uh, potential stocks, okay, that meet that setup, right? So that's quite a big number, and of course, if you want to narrow the number, you could always increase the minimum of the price. You say, okay, I only want stocks above, for example, $5, and you can scan again so that you have got a smaller list. So I'm going to click scan uh, at minimum $5 and let's see if we have a narrower list, all right? Okay, so the list has come out and it's still 239 stocks, so that's still a lot, right? Anyway, let's take a look at some of the stocks and the first one is A, so um, if you look at, let's go to charts and if I click on, well, first let me put in the 
let me load the study for the classic. All right, so the first one is A, which we saw. And you can see, indeed, it is on the uptrend, right? And it's bouncing off, right? It's bouncing off the 50 moving average, right? So it finds you these setups, right? Okay, what's the next one? The next one would be uh, AAL, right? So AAL, again, you go to charts, uh, put in AAL, and there we go. See, bouncing off the 50 moving average, right? So you can be assured that once you've run this scan, all these stocks are bouncing off the 50 moving average, right? And again, you can uh, reset it to bounce uh, over the 150 moving average or any moving average that you want, okay? So, um, you may say 239 is a long list to go through. How, how do I filter that down even smaller? Okay, so we can we can even put in a more specific rule that says, okay, um, I want the price to bounce off the moving average with a specific candlestick pattern. So in this case, for example, we may say that we want it to bounce off using a um, bullish pin bar, like you see over there. So you know a bullish pin bar is a strong um, reversal pattern, right? So this particular bullish pin bar is called a hammer. Okay, so we can add in a hammer so that we only scan for hammers, right? We can do that, right? So to do that, you can add in a study filter, okay? And this time, click on study, go to bullish candlestick patterns and go to hammer, right? So select hammer over here. Can you see the word hammer? Okay, there we go, right? So we've added in a hammer, which means we only want the price to bounce off the moving average with a hammer pattern or a bullish pin bar, okay? So once you do that, you can again save it, click, save it, and you can save it as uh, WA dip on uptrend with hammer. So it's more specific and click save and it'll be in there. All right, so I can run the scan. Let me just run the scan and see whether anything comes up. Okay, so we've got one stock that came up USAT, right? So if you click on USAT, um, let's look at the chart, USAT. So there you go, indeed, you can see, there we go, that we, we have got a bullish pin, right? Bouncing off a bullish pin, right? So you can see when you're very specific, you get less stocks, right? Okay, so that's how we, we can do that, okay? So again, we have got the... Um, Deep on the uptrend, deep on the uptrend with a hammer pattern, okay? Now, what else can we um, scan for, okay? Now, remember that in Wealth Academy, we also learned that a very powerful pattern is when the price has reversed into a new uptrend, right? From downtrend to uptrend. And it's when the 50 moving average crosses above the 150 moving average, all right? That is a change in trend, change in the medium term trend. So we could scan for stocks where it just crossed into a new medium term uptrend with this signal. Okay, so how would we do that? Again, we could uh, clear this filter over here. Again, we still want to maintain our minimum $2 price range. Volume requirement remains the same. So I'm going to add a new study filter. Click study, go to custom. Again, get rid of this irritating thing. And I'm going to add the condition that 50 moving average crosses above 150 moving average, right? So select study, moving average 50 crosses above study, simple moving average 150. And when did this happen? You can say within the last one candle or within the last three candles or the last four candles or the last five candles, up to you, right? So maybe you can say uh, over the last three candles, right? So save, there we go. 
Okay, done. That's it. Simple, right? So, click save it as. <clears throat> um, new uptrend setup. Okay, or rather we can call it reversal. Uh, reversal from down to trend. Click save. Right? <clears throat> so once we save it, we can again scan, see if anything comes up. All right? All right, so you can see that uh, this entire list comes out as fi there are 56 stocks, right? That um, where the 50 moving average has crossed above the 150, right? So the first one is AAWW, then you have ABY, ALLY. Let's check them out, right? So AAWW, go to charts, and there we go, AAWW. Right? So indeed, you can see the 50 has just crossed above the 150 moving average, right? But again, it doesn't mean that you, you buy right now. You have to ensure that even though it crossed, the price has not moved too far away from the 50 moving average, right? So the scanner is to show you the general setups, but you have to ensure they meet all the rules that you've learned in Wealth Academy, all right? What's the next one? Uh, ABY. And again, you can see the 50 uh, just cross above the 150 moving average, right? So, so this helps you to find those setups really fast. So that's exactly how I screen for stocks on a watch list. Okay, guys? All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, send me an email. Um, and with that, I hope you have benefited from this, and I'll see you soon in the coming program. Take care, guys.